We're getting right to breaking news out of Virginia Beach here at 630 where the verdict is in for a man on trial for murder. Jaquan Wilson is representing himself. He's accused in the 2016 death of Grassfield High School student Bryant Cueto. 10 on your sides, Chris Horn brings us the latest from court. Chris. Yeah, Amy, we just got the verdicts in the last 30 minutes. Guilty on all three counts, murder, armed robbery, as well as a gun charge in the death of Brian Cueto. He was 18 at the time. We're talking about a case that goes back to May of 2017. So this is a six year old case. The jury deliberated about two hours, 10 women and two men. They heard testimony and evidence for about two days. This was a case where Jaquan Wilson represented himself. He chose not to testify at the end. The only thing they really heard from Jaquan Wilson in this case was his interrogation. It was in an hour and 20 minute video that was played this morning as one of the prosecution's exhibits. And then he made a closing argument. He spoke to the jurors for about 30 minutes extemporaneously, no notes or anything, but they were not convinced. In two hours, they came back with guilty verdicts. This was a drug deal gone bad. They had arranged, and there was text evidence to support this, that the defendant and the victim had arranged by text for the victim to sell Wilson Xanax pills. And this drug deal was supposed to go down at a restaurant. It was then in Applebee's, I believe now it's a Mexican restaurant in General Booth Boulevard here in Virginia Beach. This was in May of 2017. However, when they pulled into the, the parking lot of the Applebee's, the defendant, Jaquan Wilson, and an accomplice came over to their car. Wilson got in the back seat of the white haunt of the uh, car that they were in, and um, he shot him. He had a 38 revolver. It was a 38 special, pulled the gun out, and it, so there was no money involved here, even though the arrangement was for a $350 drug deal. Police said that Jaquan Wilson had no money with him. All he had was a gun. So as far as they were concerned, he never intended to buy these Xanax pills. That's the verdict today. Guilty of armed robbery, murder, and a gun charge in the death of Brian Cueto seven years ago in May. And the sentencing for Jaquan Wilson will be in June, on June 21st. He faces in the three charges anywhere from 43 years to life in prison. We spoke with his mother just a few moments ago, and we'll have more on that on this evening newscast as well as tomorrow. We're live in Virginia Beach. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.